tonight. Prosecutors say that this man tried to kill a young girl by throwing her off a local bridge. And possibly even more disturbing, the prosecution says he had been friends with the little girl's father for decades. WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Shrewsbury tonight with the latest on this story. Christina? David, earlier this week, Joshua Hubert hid behind a door during his court arraignment, but today, for the first time, he faced the cameras. Joshua Hubert couldn't hide this time. Now, a new charge of trying to murder his close friend's seven-year-old daughter, who ended up in Lake Quinsigamon early Sunday morning with choke marks on her neck. Evidence in the form of surveillance video of him at approximately 3.30 in the morning. We have an eyewitness that places him on a bridge. Hubert, a 35-year-old with no criminal record who worked at a prestigious prep school, is accused of kidnapping the sleeping child from her grandparents' home here in Worcester at around 2 Sunday morning. Police also said he choked her. Now new court papers say he stopped his Saturn on the I-290 bridge. He picked up the victim, who was then wrapped in a blanket, and did throw the victim over the bridge. Step back. Hubert's family left court without defending him, but his attorney said he never took the girl. They have him at one place at a gas station, which he readily admitted to being at, and there is no indication he's doing anything wrong at that gas station. Perhaps the most amazing part of the story, the girl survived. And according to the prosecutor, swam to the nearest house, knocking on Maeve Geary's door for help. If she's overcome something like this at the age she did, her life's going to be amazing. And we should all have such admiration for her. She's an incredible kid, truly. Joshua Hubert is now being held on $1 million cash bail, and he's due back in court in Westboro Tuesday to face that new attempted murder charge. In Shrewsbury, Christina Hager, WBZ News.